Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Evolution Cup, and this trainer has a YouTube channel, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. Taking a look at Poliswine. So Poliswine is actually a really strong Pokemon. It really is for this meta, and I do see it occasionally, but I don't see it as much as I originally expected. I don't know, maybe people people seem to prefer Celio. I do too, I just like the bulk on Celio, but no, Poliswine is really strong, I mean... We're talking right now Poliswine versus Celio. Of course, that Stone Ash is going to knock it out. Or if it doesn't knock it out, it's going to be putting it very low. It wouldn't knock out a non-shadow. I wonder if it knocks out a shadow one. But they do shield it. Uh, and we do see a switch. So getting a, a two-shield advantage early on, always nice to see. Uh, so this Dust Clap is going to be able to take the attack. But it would still do a lot wanting to shield that. The Return will do a lot as well. Uh, against the Celio, so the Shadow Celio gonna go ahead and throw an attack. It's going to be another Aurora Beam, so actually committing both shields. Okay, so wanting to keep this Dust Clops healthy, uh, and Dust Clops will go for the return, but is it enough to KO the Shadow? I don't think it is. Uh, no, but one more Hex will, but this should only be a Body Slam. I don't think they have enough energy for another Aurora Beam. Yeah, it's just a Body Slam, so able to easily take that. Um, so very nice, I mean, shields it down, it's unfortunate you had to invest two shields into the Celio, but we'll see what comes in. Oh, it's going to be a Dragonair, and Dragonair of course is weak to Ice Punch. It's not going to KO, but it is going to uh, do a good amount of damage. One more will KO, um, Aquatel's not going to KO, so Dust Clubs will be able to get it off, you absolutely love to see it. Also, it's interesting to note that this team is not running Vigoroth, which is actually pretty cool because you see Vigoroth on every team, right? Um, I'm using it myself. That's how good it is. But uh, the opponent is running the Vigoroth, though. Nothing wrong with running Vigoroth, by the way. I'm just saying. Uh, so Dust Clubs will go ahead and go for this Ice Punch just to get some damage off before it goes down. And now Dragonair, the Shadow Dragon, is actually a Shadow variant of Dragonair, doing so much damage. Able to get off this Body Slam. If this was a non-Shadow, it wouldn't KO. I wonder if the Shadow is enough to KO. It is. Okay. And that is going to be a beautiful win there. Very well played to both trainers. Uh, absolutely amazing. So, I'm going to go ahead and move into the next battle. Uh, Palace Wine into Vigoroth. So, definitely not a matchup you really like to see. We're going to see that safe swap into the Dragonair. Um, Dragonair is a pretty good safe swap. Um... But we'll see what, what the Vigoroth go. Well, we know it's going to go for Body Slam, but it uh, looks like they stayed in. No, they switch out into Dust Clops. Dust Clops, of course, with that Ice Punch, but we're going to see an Aqua Tail come in. Um, and that is not going to get the shield. Uh, I figured it wouldn't. Dust Clops is so tanky, but we're going to see another Aqua Tail come out. And this Aqua Tail is going to not get the shield, but you could shield and farm down maybe. Probably not worth it. Probably just gonna let it go. Oh, we are gonna see the shield. Okay, but I still think Dragonair can farm down. It can farm down. Okay, beautiful. So that is good. Um, yeah, giving up two shields, never fun, but at least the Palace Wing is not gonna be in the Vigoroth, and you probably get a shield here. You do. So you, at least you get one shield back. So that's good. Um, and you could bring in the Dust Clops right now. They bring in Charger Bug. Uh, going to charge up, going for the Ice Punch right now, so Ice Punch and then switch. Um, yeah, going to switch because you don't want the Poliswine on that Vigoroth, right, because the counter damage will add up. Uh, we're going to see a Crunch come in, um, just wants to get off this Avalanche, able to get it off, which is really nice. Charger Bug is another really good Pokemon for this meta, I don't have a good one, so I didn't build it, um, but yeah, I mean, we do see a Shield there, and Charger Bug is going to go ahead and go for an attack, but a Crunch is not going to KO. But do they make a crunch before the Poliswine does? Do they make another one? They do make an attack. Even if it's an X scissor, it, it, it KOs. Um, no, it's going to be a crunch. Okay, that's obviously going to KO. But in comes the dust clops, you you got to throw. Um, okay, they actually catch. I was going to say you got to throw at the charger bug because you don't want the crunch to hit dust clops. However, I will say that one, do one does not KO. If this is a bulldoze, one crunch probably KOs. It is... Oh, a crunch probably KOs the Dust Clops. Oh my gosh, were they not at it? Maybe they were not at it? Okay, because they threw an attack, so they may not have been at it. So that Dust Clops is going to take the win there. So well played. Uh, maybe they needed one more or something. I'm not really sure. But either way, good game. Uh, very well played to both trainers. Let's move on to the next battle. Uh, see how the next game goes. Going to be Poliswine into Dust Clops. So we do have a Dust Clops. Uh, from the opponent, they're going to go ahead and switch into Vigoroth. You could bring in your Dust Clops. Good matchup for the Dust Clops, especially with the Return. Um, I mean, Ice Punch is neutral too, but like Return is a heavy hitting attack. They're going to go straight for that Bulldoze, makes sense. Uh, but Dust Clops can take it easily. 
Uh, I haven't been using Dust Clubs much, and that's because I don't have an XL one. I have one built, but it's it's not XL. Um, so I haven't been using it. But if you have a purified one that's XL, even if it's not like the best of the best, I, I do think it's worth it. Uh, it's a really great Pokemon. This Bulldoze is not going to KO, which will allow Dust Clubs to get off this return. Can Dust Clubs make it to an Ice Punch, though? Probably not. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't count it down a ghost type, but that's okay. Uh, you could farm down with Dragonair. Um, you could farm down with Polyswine too, but then you take a lot of counter damage. They bring in the Dust Claps and out comes this Polyswine. So, totally fine. Um, they're going to be able to throw an attack. It's going to be an Ice Punch. Um, and going to get to almost get to two Avalanches. It's going to go ahead and throw one right now. So, this is going to connect and one more note they do get to an attack gonna go ahead and invest one shield it is worth it now you could over farm though um that's actually a shadow punch but you could over farm by a little bit yep beautiful over farm nice counting this is going to be enough to kale the dust clops um and yeah they let it go and regrowth comes in oh man too bad you can't get the farm down you can get the farm down but you do have to shield um and then you have an avalanche or oh, Stone Edge against whatever comes in. Oh my gosh, they actually get to another one? I didn't realize they had that much energy. Um, okay, that's really unfortunate. Um, but in comes Dragonair. Oh my gosh, it's a Hakamo O? You have to hope this KOs. If this KOs, you win. This is a Shadow Dragonair. Oh, they think they still have a shield. Never mind. Okay, never mind. They still had a shield. Okay, so good game. Uh, not going to be able to win that one. It's unfortunate you couldn't fall down with the Polis one. If you were able to, that would have been a win because you could have thrown the Avalanche at that Hakama O and then one with the Dragon I think. But uh, good game. Moving on, Polis one into Celio. So both of the Ice types in this meta. Uh, Polis one does have the advantage being that it has Stone Edge. Uh, and Stone Edge will do a lot, but it doesn't KO. I've been in this matchup on both sides. I know it doesn't KO, but it does do a lot. Um... Oh my gosh, able to catch uh, what I assume to be a body slam. I don't think they throw the Aurora Beam here. They could... Well, actually, they do. Okay. Okay, we'll play it. Um, I guess the Aurora Beam would be doing a lot of, of damage, and maybe the Polis one wouldn't have wanted to shield it, thinking it was going to be a body slam. So, makes sense, I guess. Uh, Dust Claps is going to go ahead and throw the return. That is going to do a lot to the Charger Bug. And now you just basically need to go for Ice Punch. They're going to be able to get to an attack, and of course, a Crunch is just going to KO the Dust Claps. Uh, I believe. Yeah, it does KO. Um, and we do see the Poliswine. Uh, I would love to see a farm down, but I don't think so. Um, let's see how much this does. Crunch. Uh, maybe, maybe if you shield the next one. Yeah, I guess we are. No, we're not. Okay. I guess they didn't want to use the shield. You could have shielded the incoming attack from the Charger Bug and farmed down, but I guess not wanting to invest that shield. I get that. Celio is coming in. Uh, plus Celio had an attack. But you, would, you you do win CMP with the Polis one, though. But in comes, oh, Dust Clops from the opponent. We know it has Ice Punch. That does have Faint Attack. I've been seeing a lot of Faint Attack Dust Clops. We're going to see a Shield right now. Um, this is going to be an I uh, Actually, no, they bait with Shadow Punch. Okay, nice bait by the opponent there. But we're going to see the Aqua Tail come out. Um, and this is going to pick up that Shield. And... Shielding this, I don't think they're gonna bait Shadow Punch again. Never mind, they do. Um, unless if for some reason they don't have Ice Punch, but I'm sure they have Ice Punch, but they don't get to it. I think they would have gotten to it if, if they were running Hex. I don't know, but either way, Dragonet is able to go for the Body Slam, and this Body Slam got to pick up the Final Shield from the opponent, easy. Uh, but the Dragonair does have a lot of energy and it's going to be able to throw another one and this is going to KO the Celio and that is going to be a beautiful game. Well played to both trainers. You love to see it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle and this is the last battle of the video. Poliswine into Charger Bug. Charger Bug. Okay, let's see how this plays out. Uh, I guess you just stay in. I mean, this is not a bad matchup at all. So I guess you just stay in. That is a bug type. Uh, so you could throw the Stone Edge. Um, Crunch is... Okay, they got the defense drop, so the next one probably KOs. Okay, we do see an Avalanche. Um, uh, so nice catch by the opponent, but still, that's fine going into that Dust Claps. I don't mind... I wouldn't mind that at all. We're gonna see another Avalanche, massive damage, and then a switch. Uh, yeah, switch into Dragonair. Uh, Dragonair is going to, uh, either shield this. This is... If it's a nice punch, it does a lot. It probably is. It is. Uh, so you definitely would do a lot. I, I, I know Dust Clubs doesn't have a lot of attack, but, you know, this is a Shadow Dragonair. 
so in comes Charger Bug going to be hit with the Body Slam attack. Very nice. It, the Dragon it has two, almost two. Uh, yeah, almost two. They do get to another one. This is going to KO the Charger Bug or get the final shield. So looking good here. But we'll see what they decide to do. Uh, we'll see. They, so they do shield that, and they're going to go ahead and throw an attack. And we do see a shield. Uh, and the opponent will concede. And that will be it for this video. A beautiful, beautiful set. Thank you so much for sharing your bad experience with us. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.